This runway's short, but it's flipping wide. This is the last one of these videos I'll do for a while, I promise. I promised the irregular viewer, but I, I had to share. It was too good not to share um, the end of today's results of playing around with uh, RG Plane uh, simulated in X Plane 10, 10.5.1, I think it is, or 10.51. And the landings you're watching now, or are going to watch, uh, they're basically happening at the max crosswind limit and more of the Twin Otter, which is 25 knots. It's 25 knots coming from the north directly across the runway. And in in a wind-free environment, I'm, I'm pretty much getting the uh, the aiming point every time, or just a little bit beyond the numbers. Um, but in this, with the gusts, anything can happen. <laughs> so you'll see. Uh, there's nothing uh, in the software to handle this sort of um, crosswind at the moment and nothing that I'm aware of. So after the landing, it's all a bit messy. I just restart the mission and it, it heads off in whichever way it's heading. Uh, so it's all a bit messy, as you'll see very shortly. But anyway, this, this, it, it needs no explanations, really. I would love it if somebody could make a better job of uh, tuning the Twin Otter. I'm sure grown-ups could, could really make this this a proper job, a really neat job. Um, and uh, then maybe we could all start a, a virtual drone delivery a cargo airline and all fly somewhere uh, delivering stuff and see what other problems come up as we do that. Um, like, subscribe, do whatever else you need to do uh, on YouTube. And don't forget to join us every Tuesday at 2100 GMT for our weekly chat of nonsense. I will turn the music up and let you watch a few more landings.